This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. <laughs> now I'm just playing about that. But what really is a test is our earthly lives, how we live our earthly lives, okay? This test is whether we will receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior or not, okay? I mean, God gave us a free will. We can live for him or not live for him. We can love him or we can hate him. We can accept salvation or we can reject salvation. We can be with Christ or we can be against Christ. The choice is yours, okay? We, we all, you know, have that decision to accept Christ or to reject Christ. Everybody that has lived and died, you know, they were all tested. And everybody that's living now, we're all being tested on whether we accept Jesus, Jesus as our Lord and Savior and put your faith and trust in him and keep your faith and trust in him or reject the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I just want to talk about um, what was going on before the earth was created and then when the earth was created. All right, now Jesus is the creator of all things, okay? By Christ, all things consist, okay? All things were created by Christ and for Christ, which is in Colossians chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. All right, now Lucifer was the most beautiful angel in heaven, Ezekiel chapter 28, verses 12 through 15. Lucifer let pride and jealousy take over his existence. And he is determined to be like the true and living God. Isaiah chapter 14 verses 12 and 15. Because of Lucifer's pride, God kicked him out of heaven. And that's what Jesus talked about in Luke 10, 18. God created the earth, plant life, animal life, and human life, which is in Genesis chapter 1 verses 11, 12, 20, 21, 24, 25, 26, 27, and chapter 2 verse 7. Adam and Eve were perfect, living in a perfect world until they sinned by listening to the devil. Genesis 3, 6. The land became cursed in Genesis 3, 17. And because of the fall of man, that is how Satan gained dominion of the earth. And that is how Satan is the god of this world. 2 Corinthians 4, 4. Now, I like what Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. Paul says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run, that ye may obtain. And every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertain, uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Okay, now what Paul was talking about, okay, he was talking, he was comparing this earthly life, you know, fighting the good fight of faith and laying hold on eternal life. He was comparing this earthly life to a race, okay? Just think of like like the Olympics, you know, like uh, let's say the, the 400 meter dash, you know, and you're, you're running, you know, and Let's say you got to jump over hurdles because that's what we have to do, you know, spiritually. We have to jump over hurdles. You know, if we fall, you know, if we try to jump over one and we fall, you know, that means we stumble in sin. But we got to get back up and keep on running, keep on running towards eternal life. And then also in uh, Hebrews 12, 1, Paul said, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set 
before us. Fighting the good fight of faith and laying hold on eternal life. I mean, that's that's the race. You know, we got to fight, you know, and we got to we got to hold on to eternal life, you know. Just like, you know, you you go to uh like an amusement park and you get on a scary roller coaster and you're you're holding on for dear life, you know. That's exactly what we have to do uh when it comes to eternal life. We have to hold on. We have to fight the good fight of faith and hold on and keep running the race cuz we're almost there, you know. We're living in very exciting times and we're almost at that finish line. We just got to keep on running. Now, First Timothy 4, 1 Timothy 4.1 says, Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Now, there are a lot of so-called Christians that are departing from the faith. Okay, and for those that do that, I mean, that's the worst decision to ever make in life, you know. Departing from the faith by giving in to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And what's going on is really the great falling away or the great apostasy, which is in 2 Thessalonians 2, 3. Some people say that that won't happen until after the tribulation starts, but it's already happening. You know, there's a lot of so-called believers that are just giving up. They quit believing in God. They think he's not real, you know, and they give in to the things of the world. And that's, uh, that's the, the great falling away, the great apostasy, you know, a lot of believers just giving up, you know, but, you know, to the true believers, we cannot give up. We got to keep on, we got to keep holding on, you know, because that's a terrible thing to do, to give up, to, to depart from the faith, to stop believing. That's a terrible thing to do. You know, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verses 15 and 19, God told us clearly, you know, he said, I, I've set before you life and death, blessings and curses. You know, he said it before us. And he told us to choose life. He told us the right way. Choose life so that we will live. But there's a lot of ignorant people out there, you know. But to the true believers... You know, that have chosen life, that have chosen blessings. I mean, one of my favorite scriptures, 1 Corinthians 2, 9. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. By choosing, the, the, by choosing life, you know, the best decision, eternal life with Christ. I mean, so many so many great rewards, you know. The top rewards are the crowns, you know. And um, one of the crowns I mentioned um, of what Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 to 27, he was talking about uh, the incorruptible crown or the victor's crown. You know, that's just one of the crowns. And there's four other crowns, a crown of life, crown of righteousness, crown of rejoicing. Uh, the crown of glory, and then also the incorruptible crown. So those are the top five crowns, and there are so many other rewards that is just beyond our comprehension, you know. Those that endure till the end shall be saved. Do not give up. Do not depart from the faith and give in to seducing spirits. We're almost there. We're right there by the finish line. And those that endure till the end will definitely pass this test. 